Hello and welcome to today's presentation on IT Service Management AI Agents, also known as Agentic AI, here at ServiceNow, where we'll talk about how these new technology agents can help you unlock employee experience and agent productivity. My name is Darius Kamari and I'm a Director of Product Management in our IT Service Management business. First of all, the great exciting thing with this technology is its clear ability to help improve your employee experience and your IT agent's productivity through the auto resolution of IT tasks. And in today's presentation, we're going to learn about how these AI agents operate. We'll look into a demo of how these AI agents are set up. And importantly, we'll talk through some of the use cases where we're seeing AI agents being deployed. But to begin, I want to start with a few words of our good industry partner over at NVIDIA, Jensen Wang. Jensen, take it away. Today, you use ServiceNow by licensing the platform and your employees interact with the ServiceNow platform to get assistance. In the future, ServiceNow will also provide a large number of AI agents that you can rent, essentially digital employees that you can rent to help you solve problems. And that's an extremely exciting vision that Jensen shares which is that of a hybrid workforce where your existing resources are augmented by a set of digital resources that can help take on some of these basic tasks and the work that are best suited for AI agents. Today, now, as we skip today, ahead, we'll be able to see why this technology is such an important shift in what we've been able to do with machine learning. As many of you may be familiar, ServiceNow has been investing in artificial intelligence companies through acquisitions such as DX Continuum over to the Parlo acquisitions and some of the AI search acquisitions. But lately, we've been investing in building our own platform using the Now LLM as well as third-party LLM frameworks to bring you agentic AI. And so the start of our journey was very much human driven. There was this notion of supervised machine learning where you train data on historical data and you mark what the good data set looks like. And that was very much a human in the loop and it was very predictive and the use case was very narrow. Categorize a category or classify a priority or go and recommend a knowledge article for use. Later, what we're currently seeing is this evolution of generative AI, right? This is actually generating insight, generating summary. You're seeing this in the case of automated alert summarization or incident summarization or communication generation. So a lot of these use cases where you actually have a human in the loop pressing a button or invoking the generative AI to get an insight or to do some work on their behalf. Now, where agentic AI comes in is the next evolution of that. In the fact that it is fully autonomous, a human can be in the loop, but doesn't have to be. And it's able to do reasoning and acting with no human in the loop. And that's such an important shift and step forward with the technology because a lot of the historical friction with technologies like virtual agent is the heavy cost of implementation and specking out deterministically every single different decision in a decision tree. Now with agentic AI powered by these movements and technology like neural networks and attention mechanisms and large language models, we're able to do things like chain of thought reasoning and have LLM agents come up with a plan to solve a given problem, test different solutions out, invoke your own tools on the platform and get to that endpoint completely without a human in the loop. And so to categorize that more discreetly, I think it's worth looking at what you see very much with now assist for ITSM today. It's a lot of a human asking a question or clicking a button invoking that now assist API that provides you with an answer or summarizes something, builds something. You could think of this like your consumer chat GPT case. It's what we call wave one gen AI, you know, usually a single prompt, a single input output. But as highlighted, where we're going is this concept of AI agents, where you'll have a team of AI agents working together to be able to reason, plan, act and using a large language model in the back end with chain of thought, which is a technique 
where you can have the agent ask itself questions, formulate answers, discuss the answers amongst itself to improve the quality of your response. And the strength we have on the ServiceNow platform is the fact that we have directly access to your ServiceNow data, as well as any of the integrations and automation that you define in terms of tools you want to give these AI agents access to. And so in the future, these teams of agents will be able to autonomously analyze complex situations, generate strategic insight, and importantly, execute actions in alignment with business goals, either fully autonomously or with the human in the loop for approval as the different workflows require. And so in summary, agentic AI or AI agents refers to artificial intelligence systems designed to act autonomously and proactively in a goal directed manner. And the real key things here is that whole notion of planning, acting, you know, it's the, the react framework, as they say, the ability to go look at what you need to do, observe the results of what's happened, come up with a plan of what you need to do next and attempt to take those actions. And so those different things we talked about are the fundamental building blocks of an agentic or AI agent, it's the ability to reason, to plan, to orchestrate, collaborate, and ultimately learn and observe and react based on what you're seeing. So how does ServiceNow go about this, right? How are we thinking about it, especially from the side of IT service management? Well, there's three key personas that you're gonna see we're gonna serve. The first beginning with the agent and fulfiller. How can we provide proactive insights, take on low complexity tasks, and help the user drive down mean time to resolve for issues that are coming in. From there, we're gonna to move to interfacing directly with the requester, where employees and requesters can communicate with these AI agents, maybe through phone, maybe through a chat client, maybe directly through a case where you've assigned an AI agent. And finally, helping the platform administrator potentially maintain the quality of the data, the quality of the instance, the implementation, the configurations, and do so with natural language. So multiple personas, but starting with the fulfiller and agent persona. Now, let's talk about it in context of an ITSM example, one we hear frequently, which is something like a password reset. So while we absolutely have solutions for password reset on the platform today with our traditional virtual agent technology, or maybe with a self-service page or a screen on a desktop client when you can't log in, in the era of these agents, you'll have different agents that are specialized in different parts of the workflow, i.e. they handle a particular set of tasks. So you might have a service AI agent manager that manages the high level workflow, a next best action agent that figures out what we should do next, a communication agent that actually sends end user communication, a documenter agent that's tr keeping track of in either work notes or knowledge articles, what's been going on. And of course, an agent that actually integrates with an active directory system like an access issue expert. And so what we're creating is fundamentally these teams of agents that are specialized in different parts of a workflow, different tasks to solve a high level use case. And so the kind of use cases we're thinking about range in persona and range in nature. You could think of it from the perspective of data quality, doing things like triaging an incident when it comes in to set the proper category priority assignment. You could think of it to look through your knowledge base and make sure you also set the right category, detect duplicates, converge, deduplicate your knowledge base, set the proper high level knowledge base and category. And so actually improving the quality of data in your system and asking clarifying questions back to those end users as needed. At the same time, we can do things like the password reset example where we directly integrate with Active Directory and let users talk with these agents, work with these agents to do things like accessing AD group membership, adding themselves to a group, removing from a group, resetting or unlocking their account. And again, these agents can ask clarifying questions in a very undeterministic manner. Now, the key thing that a lot of customers are coming to us for is, of course, lights off automation, right? Can an issue be fully resolved by an AI agent? 
And so we're absolutely working on issue resolution agents. We're given any task in the system, given you the history of knowledge base articles, the history of similar incidents and how they were resolved, and awareness of CIs and CMDBs and impact, we'll be able to understand the issue and recommend to an agent or ultimately a requester what the resolution steps are. And that same workflow goes to improving the actual process efficiency of high touch workflows like major incident manager. Imagine an AI agent that is constantly listening and creating summaries of what's been going on, creating an analysis of diagnosis of what should be going wrong and maybe how to solve it and automatically documenting that in terms of a postmortem or in terms of stakeholder communication updates. So these AI agents are constantly in the loop, constantly listening, autonomously helping your teams as they go do their work taking care of some of these predictive processes. With some of those ITSM use cases top of mind, let me now show you a demo of our currently in controlled go-to-market AI agent studio, where you'll be able to take advantage of out-of-the-box AI agents provided by ServiceNow, but also configure your own depending on the use cases you'd like them to solve. We're gonna look at how to define a use case, define an agent, define the agent's tools and capabilities, and ultimately test the agent here in ServiceNow. Keep in mind, again, with full safe harbor disclaimer, this is going to be a kind of forward-looking demo as technology is currently in controlled go-to-market and aiming to be generally available next year. What I'm showing you here is our new AI agent studio, part of the analysis set of capabilities. Now, in terms of pricing and packaging, that is still to be determined but let's dive into the actual specifics of what we're looking at. Here, let's begin with what an agent is. An agent is gonna reflect a high level use cases you wanna solve. Like in this case, issue resolution. To begin, we describe the name of the use case, issue resolution, a description, resolve a given task like incidents, cases, or problems, as well as the tasks you'd like the agent to do. So in this case, we're giving it the following instruction in human kind of language here. One step is required. One, resolve the task given by the number. There's no need to decompose the step further. Do not add anything to the subtask. Simply use the above subtask as is. So what we're basically doing is a little bit of prompt engineering to give the high level agent and use case this goal of what it needs to do. And this use case is going to have a number of agents connected to it. Think of this like your team of issue resolution agents, and you're going to decide what child agents should be talking to each other or should be invoked as part of this larger issue resolution process. So you could see we have a knowledge article agent, which is used to get some knowledge data or generate knowledge articles. We have a license procurement agent, which could get some catalog details and next best action agent which will evaluate the proficiency of the team to solve the issue, figure out what to do next, get similar incidents. We have the user account access agent, which can get details about the user and a license inventory agent, which can go in and check software license availability. Where we'll be able to also define the availability of these agents. Well, today I'm only gonna show you a now assist panel, which is this panel up above. In the future, of course, we can roll these out we're planning to do the chat, the case, the voice, different channels for interfacing with this agent. Before we actually go to test it, I do wanna highlight what's actually under the cover of one of these specific agents. So let's take this next best issue agent, next best action agent as an example. So each of these agents begin with a set of instructions again, where you're gonna tell the agent what its role is. You're an expert resolving issues. The instructions you have, you have a task, you're looking through what the task is and you're searching for solutions. And of course the strategy, industry standard generally being the React framework and there was a paper published on that recently. And you're gonna decide what tools and information this AI agent has access to. And this is really the powerful thing on the Now platform, right? Is we can define any of these tools which are doing things like running flow actions, running a retriever to get data, like a rag, running a script, 
invoking a ServiceNow skill from the analysis skill kit, running a subflow. So you could see that this next best action agent is going to get some more incidents, get details, evaluate the team's ability to solve the issue so it knows when to bring a human in the loop. And importantly, from a RAG approach, which is retrieval augmented generation, you can also bring in your data, right? Like relevant knowledge articles to try to synthesize a response. And so a number of different important utilities that you're going to tie into these AI agents. And once again, the agent is active or not. So that is linked to though, keep in mind that higher level use case. So when we come back up to our AI agents, we're going to go ahead and now test. So now to test the AI agent, I've come here to the testing studio. I've selected an issue resolution use case, which is the use case we're looking at. And I've passed in an incident number of an end user who is talking about their MacBook battery that keeps dying. And what we can do is we can actually see on the right hand side, the AI agent decision logs to see exactly what was going on. So I could see that the original orchestrator had a thought that the next best action agent is proficient in resolving incidents, which is aligned to the main task here, this incident. And so if I click into the next best action agent, we could see that it's received the incident and it thinks that I need to get the details. So it gets details of the incident. And that's how we get back the short description where the short description is the MacBook keeps dying. And so then it has a thought I need to fetch a list of similar incidents to understand the general procedure that was followed in the past. And so again, it's going to be searching for similar incidents based on that MacBook battery dying. But guess what? It found out there are no similar incidents. So what's it going to do? It's going to go ahead and then try getting relevant knowledge articles. Since there were no similar incidents found, I need to fetch a list of relevant knowledge articles. And this is some of the great power of that React framework, where it's thinking through the problem and the solution and what it could do. And if it runs into a roadblock, what it should try next. And so we could see as it runs that RAG approach to get relevant knowledge articles, it did find a knowledge article about improving your MacBook's battery life. And then it's going to go ahead and summarize that and post it back to the user. So we could see here's a comprehensive guide to improve your MacBook's battery life. And this was after it told the user that no similar incidents were found. The user being, in this case, again, the agent persona, since we are targeting the agent as the first area where we're using this system. Now, there will be an opportunity for dialogue, but we could also offer the ability to escalate to a live agent as needed. Through this short demo, I hope we all could see the power of ServiceNow AI agents. While ServiceNow will be delivering out-of-the-box agents tailored to domain-specific IT service management use cases, we'll also have the ability to extend and build your own AI agents that can act on your behalf, are always on, will solve problems, can work as a team, and learn as they go. Key components of AI agents is the reduced time to set up through the AI agent studio, the improved employee experience through the natural language interfaces, and the productivity gains for your human agents due to the ability to plug in AI agents into these routine workflows and to provide resolution in a complete autonomous manner. 2025 will be the year of a blended AI and human workforce powered by AI agents for improved employee productivity and experience.